Greetings everybody, Maximus here with a pretty big breaking story. So let's just jump right into it. Dominic Gates of the Seattle Times is reporting that on Thursday, October 6th, the Allied Pilots Association, or the APA, which represents the 15,000 pilots of American Airlines, dealt Boeing a huge blow as it continues to lobby Congress for a certification deadline extension for the MAX 7 and the MAX 10. This week, the American Airlines Pilots Union has come out strongly against Congress granting Boeing a deadline extension to allow the MAX 7 and 10 models to enter service without a redesign of the cockpit safety alert systems. The American pilots explicitly rejected Boeing's argument that keeping the system the same as on prior 737 models would avoid potential pilot confusion and therefore would be safer. However, in a surprising move the very next day, Southwest Airlines, who always seems to be Boeing's partner in crime, so to speak, when it comes to the 737. On Friday, October 7th, one day after the American Airline Pilots Union expressed their disagreement, the 10,000-member Southwest Airlines Pilots Union came out in support of Congress granting Boeing the deadline extension it needs to put the final MAX models into service without changes to the safety alert system presently not on any Boeing 737 model. So now it seems that the two largest airline pilots unions in the U.S. have very publicly pitted themselves against each other when it comes to the safety of the 737 MAX program. The Aircraft Certification Safety and Accountability Act, passed by Congress in December of 2020, allowed an exemption from upgrading the crew alerting systems on any plane certified before the end of this year. Though the FAA has already certified the early MAX models, the 8 and the 9, with a legacy crew alerting system, the MAX 7 and MAX 10 won't make that deadline. But Captain Edward Sitcher, president of the Allied Pilots Association, which represents 15,000 pilots of American Airlines, said, We oppose any extension of the exemption and don't agree with Boeing's claim that pilots could become confused when moving from an airplane without the modern alert system to one that is equipped with it. And he emphasized that nothing could be further from our flight deck reality. American Airlines' position appears to be heavily influenced by the two 737 MAX crashes that killed 346 people in 2018 and 2019. On those flights, the crews were clearly distracted by a series of conflicting alerts triggered by a faulty sensor and couldn't understand what was happening. However, all MAX pilots worldwide have since been trained on how to react to a similar anomaly. But at the same time, Casey Murray, president of the 10,000-strong Southwest Airlines Pilot Union, described the 737 MAX as one of the safest aircraft ever to fly. Murphy said changing the flight deck of the newer versions MAX 7 and MAX 10 could confuse pilots, who regularly switch between other models. But the American Airlines Union boss, Captain Sitcher, said, that Boeing needs to proceed with installing modern crew alerting systems on these aircraft to mitigate pilot startle effect and confusion during complex compound systems malfunctions. He said once these systems are installed and pilots have been properly trained on them, our crews will be better able to identify system failures and prioritize corrective actions that could save lives. Doing so will also help Boeing to continue rebuilding public trust, he added. But in an interview on Friday, October 7, Casey Murray, president of Southwest Airlines Pilots Association, said, Southwest has hundreds of MAX 7s on order, and that it will be safer to keep the cockpit of that plane the same as on the MAX 8 that its pilots fly today. He said the fast pace of Southwest short-haul flying operations makes commonality between the cockpits and the various models essential. Our pilots fly many cycles in a day. Some of our pilots can touch three or four, even five aircraft in a day. Switching from one to another and back and then back again is the issue. Having significant differences between the aircraft can cause confusion in moments of high stress. He added that the American Airlines Union this week explicitly rejected this argument, citing the fact that American Airlines pilots routinely switch between the 757 and 767 models without any confusion. 
But Southwest Murray said that although those two Boeing jets do have differences in their cockpits, they're much longer range aircraft and pilots aren't switching back and forth literally on an hourly basis as our pilots do. American Airlines is currently only flying the MAX 8 but has no MAX 7s or 10s on order. But Southwest needs the smaller MAX 7 for its fleet. Murray says his union stance is not about self-interest. He emphasized that the commonality is our issue, and we believe that it makes for a safer operation. He said this is what is best for our pilots and for the traveling public. He said his union has been lobbying Congress to get Boeing its extension. Murray said we've been active on Capitol Hill working on this, adding that the union has been working with the Senate Commerce Committee chaired by Washington State Senator Maria Cantwell. Cantwell has been pushing the FAA to offer Congress some direction and some political cover on the issue by ruling on the safety question. But Southwest Union boss Murray suggested that's not necessary, since the FAA has already approved the MAX to return to service after Boeing fixed the flight control system that caused the two deadly crashes. He said whichever version we're talking about, the MAX has been back flying for a while. The MAX 8 has been successfully deployed and flown tens of thousands of hours, Murray said. The MAX 7 is no different. It has just been delayed. I have 100% confidence in the MAX line of aircraft, he concluded. The FAA said Boeing's current projection plan timeline has the 737-10 receiving an amended type certificate no sooner than summer 2023. But an earlier FAA letter had informed Boeing that the MAX 7 would also not meet the deadline on its current schedule. Boeing said we're not seeking to rush this process and believe safety is best served by allowing the 737-7 and 10 certification the time needed to complete this important work without introducing different systems. But Boeing also said if it doesn't get the extension, it must either redesign the systems and upgrade the MAX cockpits at a considerable cost, or cancel the MAX 10 and MAX 7 altogether. Whether Boeing would really cancel the programs is most likely a bluff, especially considering this year Boeing announced multiple orders for the MAX 10 from various customers. WestJet of Canada just ordered 42 last week. Well, isn't this just a big mess now? 15,000 American Airlines pilots say the MAX is not safe, while 10,000 Southwest pilots who arguably have vastly more experience on the MAX aircraft disagree with American and say the MAX is perfectly safe. And while I indeed said Southwest can be seen in the past as Boeing's partner in crime, Considering their involvement in the original MAX disasters by pressing Boeing to remove any mention of MCAS from flight manuals and refusing to allow MAX simulators in an effort to save Southwest, Boeing's largest 737 customer millions of dollars in the process. But while I applaud American Airlines Union for fighting for the safety of pilots and passengers alike, Southwest Airlines is not wrong in its assessment. Some of you may have seen the video I just put out on how the FAA used the Boeing MAX 7 to clear the entire global MAX fleet to return to service in 2020, pointing out the strange juxtaposition of the FAA's stance now, wanting to declare the MAX 7 possibly unsafe without the new cockpit features. I'll post a link down below if you haven't seen it. And also, Southwest is correct in that the Maxes have been flying tens of thousands of flights since the repairs were made, and there have been no further incidents. And I can also see Southwest's point that American Airlines has no Max 7s or 10s on order, so a delivery delay in these new aircraft would cause zero disturbance in Americans' fleet scheduling. So with that said, I think if both American and Southwest pilots unions were on the same side in this situation, then Congress would almost certainly force Boeing to redesign the 737 cockpits. But since the unions are split and all MAX jets are built on the same airframe, Southwest is probably right that most likely the plane will still be safe with the legacy systems. I think now it's probably a done deal that Boeing will get the extension it needs simply because it seems that will be the best thing for the U.S. economy right now as well as the airline industry 
as it struggles to recover from the pandemic. Unless there's another MCAS-related max crash, then all bets are off. Well, that's all I have for now. You heard what I think. Now I want to hear what you think. So let me know down below. Of course, I would love it if you haven't already, if you would consider subscribing. And don't forget to leave a like, a share, and ring the bell. And remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your trolls on the ground. And I will see you next time in the air. Yeah, this is Maximus.